Hey there students, this is part three of the modeling data performance assessment. And in this part of it, you've already looked at data, you figured out some correlation or you, you built a mathematical model, but now you're gonna to try to dive a little bit deeper. Is there another variable at play? So I've gone back to my data and I've, I've moved things around a little bit. I've improved my model. I actually went in and did an exponential model and, and I used the log est, um, the logest model to get a better growth rate and intercept. And I used the uh, growth function up here to actually do the prediction. But again, this is looking at the max extent of sea ice over time. So what does time have to do with it? Time is just some arbitrary number that we use to keep track of when events occur. So I'm just gonna say, hey, let's look at population. So I went to a world population uh, statistics site. I got some data here. And then I went in and I duplicated my tab. Actually, if you don't know how to do that, you can right click and hit duplicate. It's kind of cool. And I created a new one. And so I've taken this, this global population and I wanna see if there's a correlation or relationship between global population and sea ice extent. And my hypothesis is as there's more people, the planet's gonna get warmer and the sea ice is gonna go down. So uh, again, this is every 10 years, like a census. So I'm just, I'm putting it in as best I can, 1979, close enough to 1980 um, and whatnot. These other rows that don't have data points, I'm gonna eliminate. So I'm going to hold down control and I'm gonna click, 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 and I will delete them making my data a little cleaner. I also then am gonna get rid of my prediction and my uh, my prediction values because that's not very helpful right now. And now I can, I can basically redo my analysis. So I can highlight my data. I can insert a chart. And this one I'm gonna do is, again, we're gonna go with scatter plot. I love scatter plots. Again, that looks like it's going somewhat down. Let's take a look at um, my series, customize. I go to series and um, we better put some labels on here. Chart title, right? This is going to be uh, ice versus population. Cool. And then the horizontal axis is going to be population and the vertical axis is gonna be max extent. Sweet. And now I go down to series here. And what I wanna do is again, I wanna put on my trend line there as well. And that's a linear model. That looks pretty good. I can also do exponential if I think that'll fit better. And right down here, I can also show the R squared. So this R squared is 0.93. If I go linear, uh, turn that off. Actually, I think it's still, it's still 0.93. So let's just use a linear model. I learned this too. You can, under this label, you can show an equation if you want. So that's kind of another way to do it. Um, I'm going to call that good. Let me just get this out of the way. And again, what I can do up here is use the trend function, trend. And again, it's Y values. So max extent, comma, X values, and then predicted values as well. Boom. I'll just go like that and then close it up. And now I've got a predicted ice extent based on the population. Of course, like we did in the last part, hey, let's look at the correlation. Correlation, and that would be Corel. And again, it's Y value, X value, so max extent, comma, population. Negative 0.96 is really, really close to negative one. So there definitely appears to be a relationship with just the number of people on Earth um, and the sea ice extent, um, at least from the records we have. That's what I'm looking um, for from you to basically rinse and repeat. Take your data, your analysis, see if you can take it a step further. How does the new, new data uh, correlate? What's the coefficient? Um, again, R squared. I don't know if I, if I mentioned that in the last video, but the R squared value is you take the R, the correlation coefficient, and you square it, multiply it by itself. The closer that number is to one, it means essentially if this R squared, 
I think we said it's like 0.93. It's 93% of what's happening to the sea extent can be attributed to the population. So the bulk of what's happening, there's some factor within population that's really impacting the sea ice extent. And finally, um, build a model on the new variable that predicts the original dependent variable. And that's what I did right here. Here's my, my prediction values and I figured out my residual. And again, if I wanna do the squared values, I can do that. I can just change this real quick and I can put a parentheses. Let's do it. Squared, so now I have got squared values. Boom, and then I'll make this again mean squared error. So we'll do equals average of these numbers. Basically, what we're saying is on average, each prediction is 0.02 units of sea ice off from what it actually is. Hope this was helpful and hope it wasn't too long.